If you own an email or SMS marketing agency and you've been peddling shit like emails should be 40% of your revenue or you're posting these nonsensical Clavio screenshots without context, your days are numbered, trust me on this. Let me explain why. First of all, a bit of background. I own a Clavio Elite agency. We're an email and SMS retention marketing agency, whatever you want to call them. We've worked with over 130 brands at this point. I've personally looked inside over 400 accounts and I've been working in e-commerce for over 17 years now, both on the brand side as well as now owning an agency. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this and I want to give you my perspective on why these agencies were allowed to flourish in the past, how they're not going to be able to survive going forward or if they do, it's not even going to be worth building a business around and how I personally differentiated to really grow our company and scale it as well as what you need to do in the future if you want to stick around in this industry and survive. So first of all, how did we get to this point with this tripe, this nonsensical platitudes that have been circulated around the industry? Well, during the initial phases of the D2C boom and especially COVID, we had an explosion in so many D2C businesses that quite frankly, didn't really have product market fit or they were run by inexperienced operators who really bought into these false narratives from these gurus and these young kids running email agencies who don't quite frankly have any e-commerce experience. And it just propagated this myth that email needs to be 40% of your revenue or Clavio attributed revenue was the be all and end all of running a successful email agency. Fast forward to today and many of those businesses are just out of business. They didn't really have product market fit or the people that bought into that narrative, quite frankly, didn't have enough experience in e-commerce and now they're gone and they're probably not coming back. Or if they do, they'll be wiser this time around when they do come back. So where does this leave a lot of the agencies who were propagating this type of bullshit? Well, quite frankly, the market segment that you used to sell to doesn't exist anymore. So you're going to have to level up your messaging and how you differentiate and speak to more mature businesses because the way the industry is going, we're getting a few winners and many, many losers. And I question whether these agencies are able to work with the winners because they can see through the bullshit, they've been around the block and they don't believe in platitudes. And quite frankly, the service that they require is not this commoditized templated setup, which there's, there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. It did work for a lot of these small businesses, but now software, AI are cutting out the agencies. We They don't need the middlemen agencies. They don't want to give away margin. It's better for the client if that can just be built into the platform so you can click a button, you get started with all your templates, your email designs, your flows, even segments as well. So a lot of that commoditized setup work is going away. The core basic infrastructure can be set up within the platform when you actually install it. So that's going to leave a lot of agencies in a really tough space if they're going to survive. And let me tell you how we move past this and how we're continuing to grow and the messaging that we're able to push, which is helping us stand out. So the first thing I started to do was just be my authentic self, harness my own experience in e-com and just call out bullshit, which is what it was. Once I started to say things like if your email revenue is 40%, then you probably have an acquisition problem. Starts to get attention from the brands that everybody wants to work with. Why? Because they've seen through the bullshit as well and that attracted them to working towards me. And you've got to think in the same way. You have to think how you can differentiate your messaging and stand out from the crowd because when everyone is just peddling the same shit, you get lost in that sea of sameness and the people that was appealing to before that market segment, either it's going away, they don't have money to pay for agencies or the software is already built to make you redundant. So you're going to have to evolve how you deliver the service if you want to stick around anyway. But let me explain some other people that I leaned on. I realized there was trends and I was also learning a huge amount from these people. People like John Ivanko talking about zero party data, 
Juliana Jackson, Jeremy Epson talking about qualitative research, Nick Correct talking about advanced deliverability with all the changes that were going on. And once I started to integrate that messaging into my offering and my service, that's when we really started to get traction and pick up some of these bigger brands. And I'm asked all the time, how can I stand out like you did? How can I create my own narrative? You have to, first of all, find a gap, something that you know is missing, but nobody is talking about. For me, it was basically speaking about that relationship between acquisition and retention and how it's bullshit. I would recommend if you're looking to differentiate in this day and age, you have to leverage the technology that's becoming available because this is the most disruptive part of e-commerce and just the industry as a whole and how you can integrate it into email or retention channels. That is the next disruptive force. And if you're able to be ahead of the curve on game-changing technology and integrate it into your value proposition, that will make you stand out. Or maybe you can find some other gaps like I did around things like acquisition and email retention working harmoniously, zero-party data, qualitative research, customer research through email gamification of email deliverability. These were all things that people just seem to not talk about, but were super important. So you have to find your messaging, what makes you stand out. And you also quite frankly need to level up your skill set and get more experience on the brand side as well, because the people sub 10 million, those type of brands, not really going to be able to afford to pay for agencies. They're going to have software already delivering a lot of the service that these agencies provides them previously. So you'll have to level up, differentiate your offering, and also critically your positioning and how you attract clients. That's my two cents. That's what worked for me. These are the trends that I'm seeing. This is the way I think the industry is going. You might think that's bullshit. You might disagree. Let me know if you do. Just trying to be honest. If you do feel stuck, you do feel trapped, and you want to stand out, then message me personally. Let's have a chat. I'm happy to share more about my experiences. But ultimately, you're going to have to change if you want to survive and stick in this industry.